All right, this is uh, Jeff, uh, old bit collector at the DIY group meeting, and uh, this is take two due to bad batteries. Uh, this is Rick's uh, multi board computer system um, programmed directly through these uh, through the propeller of the Micromite Esprino uh, for fourth for Tachyon uh, without the need of a PC. Uh, so let's try it again. Take two. Okay. Here we are working in BASIC with our Micromite program. This is one of Jeff's demo programs. You can take it into the Micromite editor. You can make any changes you want. And from the editor, we can just run the program. And it does its cool BASIC graphic stuff. So, okay, bored with BASIC. Let's go somewhere else. We'll go back to our control mode here. Uh, let's see what's out on the SD card. Oh, look, we have a fourth program. So we can load the fourth program into the Micromites editor because it really doesn't care what you load in there because it's not going to run it. So we have a basic fourth program. And we can exit the editor. And if we had made changes, right now it's sitting in the Micromites editor and memory space but we want to save it to the SD card so we can do hello 3 dot fourth and the propeller now is via X modem asking the Micromite to send the program down to it and it's putting it out on the SD card so we can see again that there's the the new fourth program hello 3 dot fourth so now we want to go over to the prepare the Parallax Quick Start that's loaded up with Prop Fourth. Okay, so that would be this that one would over be here. This one right there. Okay. And it has a serial connection back to the the PEB board. Got it. So for its terminal I/O. So we can do, and we can see that. And if anybody recognizes Prop Fourth, that's just a standard Prop Fourth implementation. And Let's see, say you forgot your, your program and you wanted to check it over here, you could do a list of the program, 3.fth. So, okay, it looks like it's still good. That's what we want to do. Um, we were playing before, so there's already a, a hello out there. So we'll get rid of it. And then we will transfer the program from the SD card to the fourth. Um, the propeller running forth just like you do a transfer using uh, TerraTerm or any any of your favorite terminal programs and it's just gonna send it character by character to forth, forth interprets it and now we can run hello world from this this forth so okay we see we can go to a tachyon system I don't have a a program example program for tachyon but it would basically be a fourth program but you can okay. see so that would be this, this quick be start quick over start here. here is loaded with um peter's tachyon okay and we just switched terminals so now we're looking at tachyon so you can this, those are all the the fourth words inside tachyon so you can look at it so we're kind of bored with that so let's go to our final example here, which is a um, Olamex Wino, I guess it's pronounced, an STM32 card running Esprino. Okay. Uh, in the, so we'll switch here with uh, F7. And sorry for the red on black, but the card's red, so it made sense at the time. Um, so now we're talking to an Esprino console. So you can do basic Esprino type things. And um, let's see, I think we've got, there's an Esprino program, toggle1.esp. Uh, I think I need to do a reset. Oops, maybe that wasn't, I might have just trashed this video. So let's find the reset button. Okay, there we go. We're back to Esprino. And it should have forgotten my toggle program. Um, yeah, so it doesn't know the toggle function. So we want to put our toggle function back in. So we do a control L T 
to look at our toggle esprit no code there's a very simple esprit no function that will turn the the l e d on the board on and off each time you run it so again we can do the same transfer and this is the same way you could program an esprit no card from a, a terminal terra term or something like that you do control t enter the name of your program it transfers it across the serial line and you do toggle and you can see my light is on I'll do toggle again and you can see the LEDs off and then and if you wanted to edit this program if you want to edit this program okay we could go back to um, Micromite, so we have the editor, and we could do a control L in this space and do toggle one Esprino, and it loads it. And we say edit, and we now got the Esprino code in the editor workspace. Um, nice, and that's pretty much it. So you can go back to editing your, your program. I don't so, know what we could, we could. Call it toggle too, just so we can tell we did something different. Uh, we can exit out of the editor. We can do a control S to save it. Call it toggle2 esp, and then we can flip back to our Esprino screen, and we can do control T, toggle2 esp and load that one and now we've got a toggle two function so we can do toggle very cool or toggle two which is going to turn it off that is the way to program without any attachment to a PC standalone and pretty much lets you talk to any serial connectable target system and you've got a VT100 terminal that can save files, edit files, and transfer files. Cool. Thanks for the demo. No problem.